Uh, so I think there's a good chance that that could happen. Part of it is what what is your definition of AGI? Of course, people are arguing about that now. And and uh, mine's quite a high bar and always has been of like, can we match the cognitive functions that the brain has, right? So we know our brains are pretty much general Turing machines, approximate. And of course, we've created incredible modern civilization with our minds. So that also speaks to how general the brain is. And um, for us to know we have a, a true AGI, we would have to like make sure that it has all those capabilities. It isn't kind of a jagged intelligence where some things it's really good at, like today's systems, but other things it's really uh, flawed at. And, and that's what we currently have with today's systems. They're not consistent. So you'd want that consistency of intelligence across the board. And then we have some missing, I think, capabilities, like sort of uh, the true invention capabilities and creativity that we were talking about earlier. So you'd want to see those. How you test that, um, I think you just test it one way to do it would be kind of brute force test of tens of thousands of cognitive tasks that mm -hmm. um you know we know that humans can do uh and maybe also make the system available to uh, a few hundred of the world's top experts uh the terence towers of each each subject area and see if they can find you know give them give them a month or two and see if they can find uh, an obvious flaw in the system and if they can't then I think you're you're pretty uh, you know pretty you can be pretty confident we have a, a fully general system.